Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your favorite teacher, Miss Sun, and today I have a very special guest, Mr. Smith. Hi, everybody. So, you guys have been requesting a lot for me to film with Mr. Smith, so here he is. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look down at my phone to figure out what questions I'm gonna ask him. You wanna say something about yourself first? Oh, just very happy to be here and thank you so much for the likes and um, hope you enjoy our little presentation. Question number one, what do you teach? Well, I'm a math teacher and it kind of varies on um, each year, but this particular year I taught two sections of financial algebra one and three sections of geometry. But I've done algebra one in the past, um, math tutorial in the past, and um, one time I did an algebra two intervention class. Question number two, how long have you been teaching? This is the end of my 22nd year teaching, and the um, I've been at two different schools, mm -hmm. 11 years at each, actually. Oh, that covers the next question. How long have you been here on this campus? Oh, got ahead of myself. So, uh, at the school site that uh, I currently teach, this is finishing up my 11th year. That's a long time. This is my second year, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> okay, question number four. Have you ever thought about quitting? Not really. I mean, we all have our difficult days, and mm -hmm. there are some times where I'm just like, I've had enough of this, but... Me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, no. I, I mean, I haven't. It's, it's quite frankly, it's a really, really great job. We got mm -hmm. lots of wonderful students and wonderful mm -hmm. colleagues, yeah. and I have to say that um, I feel that I chose the right career, and I'm really, really grateful for that. Oh, I'm just going to add one um, additional question. So if you don't do teaching, what else will you be doing? Oh, I get asked that question a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, I really enjoy, I think I think real estate's kind of interesting. I know it's a really challenging job and there yeah. are a lot of realtors out there, but I always thought that was kind of something that I might be interested in trying out. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how good I'd be at it. Just I, the competition is, is a lot, but yeah. I mean, if me, I would just quit a job and do interior design so we can team up, get out of the house, and I can design the house. Okay. Question number five, what is one best thing about teaching? I love the opportunity to work with young people okay. and help them out and see them achieve. So often, it I just randomly run into students that I had many years ago, and they're like, oh, Mr. Smith. Um, and it's, it's nice to, you know, have seen them grown up into adults and remember sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. And I just, you know, if I don't, I have to politely say, I'll bet you were one of my students, you're familiar. <laughs> and you know, they're always really nice about it. Very yeah. solid where they like, oh, you don't remember me, but um, <laughs> they, they get it. They get that they've grown up. Generally speaking, they're happy to see me, which is nice. But then I was thinking the ones that are happy to see me are the ones that are going to say hi. The ones that That's right. maybe we're not <laughs> That's among. Exactly right. I, was not I hate that teacher. teacher so much. I'm gonna walk away from that person <laughs> so he doesn't see me. Hey, okay, number six. Say one fun fact about yourself. I actually have a lifelong mission that I want to see every U.S. state capitol building. Oh. And like, for example, the capital of California, Sacramento. I've never been to Sacramento. What? Yet. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I actually have a little stamp book in Frankfort, Kentucky. That's the capital of Kentucky. I was in Kentucky visiting uh -huh. the state capitol telling somebody that. They're like, oh, well, we have this great book you might like. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Ten bucks, bought it. And um, now it's like every time I go to a state capitol, I can get uh -huh. a stamp proving that I've been there. The problem is I'd already visited a few state capitals before I you knew about You need to go back. I know. A lot of people are like, well, no, if you already went there, you don't have to go back. I'm like, yes, I do. I have my stamp. You don't have the evidence that you went. I know, exactly. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's one. I, I just, I think it's kind of fun to do that. Uh, next question. Tell me one funny story that happened during your teaching career. Um, a couple of months ago, in fact, it might have even been a month ago, we had Teacher Appreciation Day. At, well, we were all lining up to get our lunch from the PTSA Association. Mm -hmm. And the kids, of course, saw this food that smelled good and looked good. And a couple of my students came up to me and they said, why do teachers get that and we don't? <laughs> Very typical, normal question for yeah. teenagers or quite frankly anybody. Not just teenagers, a lot of people would have said that. 
And I kind of just jokingly said to them, this is our reward for putting up with teenagers all day. I was just totally kidding. Yeah. And when I said that, the kids that I said this to fully accepted that. It was like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't, I didn't mean for them to take it seriously. I was, but it was like, it, it, that was clear evidence that, you know, they get that, yeah. you know, that, you know, sometimes they can be a little bit of a handful, but I just, I thought that was, a, I thought that was really funny how they... I also had kids, I remember one time they were asking me, my son, do you want any kids in the future? I was like, yeah, maybe in my 30s, but not right now. And they're like, why? I was like, um, because I feel like kids are kind of annoying. And they were like, so are you saying we're annoying? <laughs> and I was like, um, do you think you're annoying? <laughs> and they were thinking, and they were like, yeah. We are. And they'll be like, because they're sophomores right now, and they'll be like, those freshmen, they're super annoying. <laughs> and they were like, we were not that annoying when we were freshmen. <laughs> well, you know, another one other thing that just crossed my mind, too, is sometimes I'll ask the freshmen, mm -hmm. so you guys, what are the eighth graders like next year? I mean, you went to middle school with them, and almost every single year, they say, oh my gosh, they're so bad, they're going to give you such a hard time. Yeah, they'll be like, they are crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're like way crazier than what we were. Next question. If kids in China want to come over here to attend high school, do you think it would be difficult for them to fit in? Any suggestions? Any stories? Well, um, I think that it is always challenging to mm -hmm. do something like that. Yeah. I try to put myself in their shoes. If I were going to China, would it be difficult for me? And the answer is absolutely yes. Yeah. I do think that kids are a little bit more resilient and get used yeah, to right. situations like that. Um, so yeah, there would be challenges, but I, you know, it's like, it's a new culture. It is a new language. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously I think it would help if they spoke some English and, you know, so often they do. I mean, obviously I do not speak Cantonese or Mandarin. Yeah. So if I were to, that would alone would be one thing that would be more difficult. I actually did have a student this year that was an exchange student from China and she seemed to fit in really well. Her English was good. It wasn't perfect, but it was good. And she ended up getting one of the best grades in the class, worked really hard. She was in a really good class, fortunately. I mean, if you get a class with some, um, if you get a rough class, I could see that being even more difficult, but the students were very welcoming to her and very polite. And I think she felt really comfortable. Um, so it, it just sort of depends on the situation, I think, but there are always challenges with that, but I definitely think it's a good experience for everyone. So if, if you're thinking of doing that, I absolutely encourage it, and we will welcome you tremendously should you decide to do something like that. We would love to have students from anywhere. Uh, oh, yeah, up to the last question. Okay. All right, so um, anything you want to say to people who are thinking about becoming a teacher? So not students, but teachers. You know, it's been a good profession. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people talk about how the pay is really bad. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it would be nice if it was a little better. And yeah. I, I think we should get paid a little bit more, but it's not like it's terrible. I mean, yeah. it's, you can certainly have a decent life. But, you know, aside from the pay, it has its challenges, but overall, it's, I think a very good profession and I think that it's something that you should consider. Um, you get to see a lot of achievements, you get to see, you know, a lot of growth. But of course, you know, there are there are challenges. There are lots of papers to correct, the hours could be long. Yeah, that's right. Um, lesson planning, there's administration, our bosses sometimes make decisions that we're not crazy about, but we still have to follow. All right, so from a scale, um, one to 10, what would you give to this career? Scale from one to 10? Yeah. 10. 10? Yeah, I'm happy with it. All right, guys, that wraps up the entire video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. If it's the first time you see my face, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much.